watching a video yesterday with Low Place, and he kind of said something within his video that kind of made me, you know, it like struck a chord and to look at Wilder from a different angle. And he raised a question, and I'm gonna ask you like the same question, which is when Deontay Wilder, when he got in the ring with Tyson Fury after the Pianetta fight, he looked a little bit shy, like he didn't really want to be there. He looked a little bit nervous even. And for me, I thought that it was because of the whole occasion, because of maybe things that he said in the past about UK fans being racist and all this kind of thing. And I thought, well, maybe he doesn't want to open his mouth and a bone falls out. Do you know what I mean? So that was kind of like my thinking, and especially the fact that he handed Tyson Fury his belt, which is unheard of. Of course, a commentator said that Tyson Fury took the belt. No, he didn't. Dante Wilder lifted the belt up and handed it to him. Um, but is it possible that Dante Wilder, because don't forget, within this fight, he kept going over to the corner of Tyson Fury and telling him how to do certain things. He wanted Tyson Fury to look good. He wanted him to be outstanding, to have flashes of his former self, because he knows a Pianetta is a walkover for any kind of top athlete. And that's the unfortunate truth of it. Now, Tyson Fury, he did look good. He did. But he looked good for a second fight comeback after a two and a half year hiatus of mental health, uh, problems with UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control, uh, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, severe obese weight, all that kind of thing. So for a second comeback fight, he looked good. He looked very, very good. But is it good to go straight into a wilder fight after that? Now, so I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look at this from a different angle here. See, Wilder wanted Tyson Fury to look good. Why? Because finally, after 40 fights, Deontay Wilder actually wants credit now. He wants a legacy. And I think that's probably a fair enough point. Um, now, you see, people like me and many other people will bat back at that kind of uh, thought because it's not necessarily Wilder well, it kind of is, but um, a lot of it is a section of his fan base, just a section of them, where they will criticise Anthony Joshua's victory over Vladimir Klitschko, but yet they want Wilder to have credit for Luis Ortiz. You know, they will criticise him against Joseph Parker, but yet they want him to have credit for Luis Ortiz and a potential Tyson Fury, right? So people will automatically go, well, how can you say that Anthony Joshua this and Anthony Joshua that, but yet you want us to give credit to this man who's doing less? It doesn't make sense. You see, you're kind of tipping the scales and people will automatically rebel against it. And this kind of comes from the problem that I think a section of his fan base are making people dislike Wilder, making people want him to lose, all that kind of thing. Now, don't get me wrong, all publicity is good publicity. But as I said, I've been accusing Wilder for a long, long time. And I started my channel, what, 18 months ago? And since pretty much day one, I've been saying I want Wilder to step up. He could be the best. And these were pretty much the words that I was saying way back when. He could be the best, but he's unwilling to prove it. We don't know. He could be complete trash. When he steps up against the elite, he could get absolutely walked through steamrolled because he is, at times, a one-trick pony. He's fast on his feet, no doubt, but if you take away that right hand, if it's possible to take away that right hand, then he is a unanimous decision loss waiting to happen. So, as I said, when Tyson Fury fighting Pianetta, Wilder wanted him to look good. So when he fights and beats Tyson Fury, because in his mind, of course, then he wants credit for this, but he knows that there's going to be pushback. People are going to say, but look who it is that Tyson Fury beat. Look at who it is that um, Tyson Fury beat in his second fight. He didn't look good enough. He didn't look like the Tyson Fury against Vladimir Klitschko. Now, I know different styles, but Tyson Fury, he did say in a live stream, he promised a fan, okay, you choose a round and I will stop Pianetta. And the guy said round seven, and Tyson Fury said, I promise you, I will finish him off in round seven. But he didn't. Now, people can say, well, he's trying to get the rounds in. For me, I have no issue with him getting the rounds in. The more rounds that he gets, the better it's going to be. Okay, but if he's promising and he doesn't do it, that makes me question, can he do it? When he says he's going to knock out Wilder, can he do it? Unlikely. 
But I suppose on the night we're going to find out all the truths of that one. But if you just look at it from Wilder's point of view, where you know he's been fighting all these cherry picks and all these bums, and people are slating him and asking him to step up, and when are you going to fight this guy? And when are you going to fight that guy? Why is it that this guy, Anthony Joshua, in 21 fights has unified on two occasions? He's got three of the main four belts. He's the cash cow. He's the name. Why is it that you on 40 fights, people are not doing it? And that's got to play havoc on his mind. Surely to God. Surely. It would for me. And it would, you know, it does for Tyson Fury. So, when he fought Luis Ortiz, a lot of people were saying, but Luis Ortiz, you know, he's failing a PED test, high blood pressure medication. You don't get high blood pressure unless you're of an advanced age. Therefore, he's got to be late 40s, surely, at an early. So, of course, automatically, he kind of knows that there's going to be a section of people who are not going to give him credit for that win, even though on paper it's fantastic. But reality is, Luis Ortiz hasn't beaten anybody to gain any kind of reputation. He's knocked over bums himself. Okay? But in round number seven, when Luis Ortiz was unloading on him, Wilder was out of it. He was out of it. Had the referee have stepped in, Wilder was in no fit state to complain about that. He may have complained about a minute later, but at that time, had the referee stepped in, people wouldn't have argued with it had the fight has been stopped. The fact that he got a little few seconds after the interval with the medical team because of the referee in that. Now, this isn't Wilder's fault, but people will take away the credit for that win because of these little incidences. So it's almost like Wilder is damned if he does and what and damned if he doesn't. So if he's going to be taking an, a fight with Luis Ortiz, well, he didn't have to do it, let's be honest, but and he's not going to get credit for it. He's got to be thinking, well, what the hell have I got to do? So, Anthony Joshua comes along. Listen, it's Wilder's fault this fight didn't happen. With a mix of potentially even, and it's just a question, is it possible that Frank Warren scuppered the whole Wilder versus Joshua situation? Because Shelley Finkel was trying to sell the TV broadcasting rights to BT Sport in the UK, and BT pretty much guaranteed them the 50 million, hence the 50 million. Knowing full well that Anthony Joshua cannot fight on BT Sport, he is legally obliged to fight on Sky Sports in the UK. He cannot fight on any other broadcasting show. Around the world, he can fight on Showtime, HBO, DAZN, whatever it may be. But in the UK, BT scuppered that deal. So, it's possible that Frank Warren scuppered this deal. Possibly, yes, no, who knows. Now, so this deal falls apart. The fight could have happened had Wilder just signed the contract. But, you know, he priced himself out, all that kind of thing. That's fine. So, what does he do next? He's looking to fight Dominic Brazil. People are going, well, why are you fighting Dominic Brazil? You should be fighting Dillian White. So, already, he's not going to get credit for a Dominic Brazil win. So, Tyson Fury, and again, this goes back to the Frank Warren. It, did Frank Warren, again, I'm not accusing, but did Frank Warren scupper the Joshua versus Wilder deal because he wanted Tyson Fury versus Wilder. He didn't want Sky, Eddie Hearn, etc. to make money and put on a big event for Undisputed. He wanted his guy in the mix. So he scuppered that deal. He got in Shelly Finkel's ear. And now, lo and behold, we have Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder coming up. Yes, Tyson Fury was the one who came out on social media and said to Wilder, send me a contract, I'll sign it. Did Frank Warren put him up to it? We don't know, okay? It's pure speculation, and as a fan, I think that we're entitled to ask that question. So, automatically, he's like, okay, so WBC champion, from Wilder's perspective, of course, WBC champion versus lineal, big fight, big money, I'm gonna get loads and loads of credit, and then Tyson Fury didn't stop Pianetta. Automatically, before Wilder even gets in the ring, with Wilder, he's got people like me and others who are looking at it from a very, very honest perspective. You know, we want Tyson Fury to be at his best. And if Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury when he's at his best, he'll get full credit. But we know that Tyson Fury isn't at his best. And Tyson Fury versus Pianetta was a good opportunity to show the fans that he is at his best. It was a good comeback fight, no doubt. No doubt at all. But it's not a good fight for a preparation for a Wilder. There's too much of a level. You see, people see that as a diss. It's not. I say this from a Tyson Fury fan's perspective. 
It's too early. I don't want him going over there, getting blasted out, losing his lineal, then he's out the game before he's ready to do that. But as I said, if a prime Tyson Fury loses to a Deontay Wilder, full credit to Deontay Wilder. So Wilder's looking at this Pianetta fight thinking, what the hell? You've got people like that idiot sport and icons and others who are going to criticize that performance. Therefore, I'm going to get credit before I get in the ring with Tyson Fury. And now I feel crap about it. Maybe this is one of the reasons why he looked a little bit sheepish getting in the ring. Almost like, I'm not really sure if I want this fight anymore. Maybe that's what's going through his head. Obviously, I don't know. And he's not going to admit it. But maybe these kind of things are going through his head thinking, well, I want to fight this man. And if I knock him out early, people are going to say, well, of course you did. You're supposed to do that because Tyson Fury, he's been out of the ring for two and a half years and this is his first real fight in three years and the drug abuse, the alcohol and the weight and blah, 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 mental health and what have you. So therefore, that's what he's supposed to do. You're a cherry picking bum. Or if it goes into the later rounds and he stops him, people say, how come that you struggled with a guy who was overweight, two and a half years out of the ring, etc., etc.? Exactly the same reasons. So it doesn't matter what Wilder does, he's not going to get credit. But there is only, from my perspective, of course, if he really wants credit, then he's got to outbox Tyson Fury. Going in there blasting him out, you, you get zero credit for that at this stage. Very few people will. People don't want to pay pay-per-view for this. Not many people anyway. Because they... You know, people see it as a mismatch. And Wilder fans, you need to take it as a compliment that people say that Deontay Wilder is by far the favourite at this stage. For me, I think Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder 10 out of 10 times if Tyson Fury can get anywhere close to being back to where he once was. All the talk and all the confidence building from Tyson Fury and Team Fury and whatever else isn't washing with me. I know what I see. I know how health scuppers people we've seen it with david hay but at least um you know we can quickly go back onto the whole giving wilder credit you see wilder knows it doesn't matter what he does unless he outboxes him and beats tyson fury on points legitimately no corruption from the judges or referee or anything like that if he can legitimately beat him in a boxing match he gets full credit knocking out tyson fury he gets no credit that's just my opinion. Knock him out in the first round. What are you supposed to? Knock him out in the middle of rounds. Well, why did it take you so long? Losing on points right away up until the 12th round, Tyson Fury gets knocked out. Why do you knock him out before? But if you do knock him out before, what are you supposed to? So he's never going to win. There's always going to be something. And that's the facts of it, right? But yet, these same people who are so desperate for, I'm talking about a section of his fan base, who are so desperate for everything that Wilder does, he wants credit and they try and discredit other people. You know, look at the whole Dillian White versus Lucas Brown situation. Dillian White versus Joseph Parker. These Wilder fans gave him zero credit for that. But what's the difference between Lucas Brown and Tyson Fury? Lucas Brown, he was out for some time. He'd been suspended. And he put on a load of weight and he wasn't in shape when he walked into the ring. And he was former world champion. Some people disagree with that, but the records show that he is. Okay? But yet people say, well, Lucas Brown looked terrible. Didn't want gets no credit. But yet the same people want you to give credit for Wilder if he was to beat Tyson Fury. Do you see the scale of difference? But you see, some people don't like it because they want... Deontay Wilder's the best and, you know, Tyson Fury's a, a absolute optimum prime right now and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work that way. People have realistic views on this. So is there a part, and this is the question, is there a, do you believe that there's a section of Wilder that are thinking, I don't want to fight him anymore because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get no credit. I'm going to get a bunch of money. Yes, and I'll be called lineal. But again, people say, but Tyson Fury shouldn't have been lineal because he actually retired. He officially retired. So therefore, the lineal should have been taken away. So again, there's that. But yet, you beat a guy who's lineal who wasn't ready. You know, so th there has to be a part of Wilder, and, it, and it's just my opinion, that makes him go, I don't want this fight. And I could kind of see it on his face. Looking back after what Lopez said, I can look at it and go, actually, maybe it wasn't because of the crowd. Maybe it wasn't because he was nervous or whatever. It, maybe it wasn't because only moments before somebody threw beer over him. Maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it's a case of what he's seen, 
he knows he's going to get very little to no credit for. The only people who are who are going to give him credit are the ones who consistently make up, make up excuses for him. But outside of that, the general public, whether you're a Tarzan Fury fan, an Anthony Joshua fan, Dean White, it doesn't matter what kind of fan you are, you're going to look at this situation and go, no, this is not good. So maybe there's a part of Deontay Wilder, Wilder now where he's going to be unmotivated and maybe this could backfire on him. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we're all overlooking Tarzan Fury, maybe. Just like maybe we were all overlooking Amir Khan versus Canelo, right? And when Canelo did it, well, he's supposed to do that. Power versus speed. Right? Tarzan Fury, he's been dropped by Steve Cunningham and another dude, which I'm, his name has escaped me right now. So can Tarzan Fury get dropped by Dante Wilder? Of course he can. But ultimately, we'll have to wait and see on the night. But for me, is this going to be a case of maybe Dante Wilder is unmotivated for this fight now, knowing he's going to get no credit for this fight before he even steps foot in the ring? And yet he's got to try and sell this. Tyson Fury's got to try and sell it. The build-up is going to be pretty good. Both of these guys are very good at talking. So the build-up is going to be pretty good. But ultimately, Wilder will get no credit. And if Tyson Fury was to beat him, again, people want to go, what? You lost to a fat guy. An inactive guy. How bad were you, Wilder? So this is probably, while it's the wrong fight for Tyson Fury at this point, maybe it's the wrong fight for Deontay Wilder. Maybe. Because people like me are saying there are other people who are more deserving. Forget the fact that he's lineal and unified. After two and a half years out of the ring, he may well have lost at some, that, um, at some point. He may well have lost the Vladimir Klitschko rematch. We don't know. So, for me, I think that Wilder should potentially cancel this fight right now. Let Tyson Fury get back to when fans are going, wow, he's actually back now. And then fight him. In the meantime, fight Dillian White. Well, I say in the meantime, because personally I think Dillian White will beat Wilder. But that's an opinion. I could be wrong on that, right? But anyway, that's my thought. So that's my question to you. Is it possible that Deontay Wilder no longer wants this fight because he already, before the bell's even rung, he knows he isn't going to get that much credit for it and people are still going to say well why is it Wilder every time you fight someone there seems to be an issue why is it against Gerald Washington you got beat the hell up you you lost every single round until you stopped him but even then the referee come in way too early because he wasn't even hitting him against Arthur Spilker excellent stoppage devastating knockout but you were losing that fight by a landslide well the judges didn't have it that way but you know what Bias, Al Heyman, PBC judges Ultimately, it didn't matter because Wilder got him out of there. Duapa was schooling him. Against who else? Audie Harrison. He looked great. You know, he blitzed through Audie Harrison. But people say, but it was Audie Harrison. You went so long without fighting anybody of any kind of note. People are kind of used to it now. People are like, well, you know, there has to be a reason why you're taking this fight. Against Harold Sconiers, when Harold Sconiers clipped him. And Wilder went down on his backside, got a count of eight. Again, these kind of things will make people go, well, Wilder is chinny. He got knocked out twice by Vladimir Klitschko. Dillian White, with his own eyes, seen Deontay Wilder get knocked out. And people may not like to hear that. People go, no, no, that's not true. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's true or not, okay? You don't know that. Only Dillian White knows that, and Deontay Wilder knows that. And whoever it was that knocked out Wilder knows that, i.e. Vladimir Klitschko. So there's all like these little things to build him up. Now, listen, every boxer is flawed. For me, Tyson Fury is chinny. Deontay Wilder is chinny. Anthony Joshua, I believe he could well be chinny too. Everybody's got their flaws. Everybody's got their button. But can Tyson Fury knock out Deontay Wilder? Unlikely. Does Deontay Wilder actually want this fight now? I'm not too sure. I think he's going to have to motivate himself for this fight because he could actually overlook Tyson Fury now underestimate him and then be in trouble on the night because Tyson Fury turns out to be a little bit better than me and maybe him thought that he was going to be. It's a tricky situation. It really is. And yeah, okay, so Wilder's brought a lot of this on himself, but facts are, for me, he shouldn't be fighting Tyson Fury right now. He, he really shouldn't be. And I do believe that there's a legitimate chance that Wilder's thinking, I don't actually want this fight anymore because finally Wilder actually wants credit. He wants to build a legacy now. 
He wants it now, more than ever. Against Luis Ortiz, not everybody gave him the praise that he expected. And against Tyson Fury, it's going to be the same thing. So maybe he's thinking, you know what? I don't want this fight anymore. I'm not bothered by it. Keep the lineal. I don't care because people will say I'm a paper lineal. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below. I kind of hope I made sense. It went on for a bit. So click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.